homosexuality was not originally considered a sin in the Bible, particularly in a part of the Old Testament that is so often used to condemn people of a different sexual orientation. You shall not lie with a man as with a woman. It is an abomination. Although this passage, Leviticus 18, clearly condemns homosexuality, this part of the Bible has been changed, edited, and updated from what was originally there. What was originally written had nothing to do with homosexuality. In fact, what was originally there implicitly condoned homosexual behavior. It was only later that someone came along and changed the words to make it condemn homosexuality. This idea was recently presented by Dr. Idan Dershowitz of Harvard University in an article that I will now briefly summarize. In order to understand how this part of the Bible could have said something very different when it was originally written, we should begin by understanding a little bit about how some of the Old Testament was written. It was thought for many years that Moses, the man who brought plagues against ancient Egypt and parted the Red Sea, wrote the first five books of the Bible, what we call the Pentateuch or the Torah. However, it has become clear that this was not the case, and that many people and many traditions were brought together to make the first books of the Bible. This is why when we read, for example, the first two chapters of the Bible, we see two different stories of how the world was created, and they are quite different. This is because there were two stories that were edited together into one narrative. These types of doublets happen all the time in the first books of the Bible. So, when we come to the book of Leviticus, which is one of these early books, we should expect to see these same kinds of changes, additions, and revisions. And this is exactly what we find. In Leviticus 18, there was originally a set of laws against having sex with members of your family. So, don't have sex with your mother, don't have sex with your sister, and don't have sex with your father or your uncle. In other words, the laws were saying, you can have sex with women, but not these women. And you can have sex with men, just not these men. So, when the laws in Leviticus 18 were originally written, they actually condoned homosexuality. Of course, this isn't surprising, because in the ancient world in which these laws were written, we know that homosexuality was practiced and not condemned as immoral or sinful. However, many years after the laws of Leviticus 18 were written, times had changed and homosexuality had become taboo to the people in control of the Old Testament text. When they looked at Leviticus 18 and saw that it condoned homosexuality, they changed the wording of the laws and added some new laws, making homosexuality an abomination. The problem is, when we look at the laws in the original language, Hebrew, we can see that the laws were written in a very odd way. The grammar, the syntax, it doesn't make sense. It looks like it has been edited, that it's been changed to make it fit the new belief about homosexuality. There is a video in the description below that you can click on to see more detail about this argument. So, to sum up Dr. Dershowitz's argument, the laws of Leviticus 18 originally condoned homosexuality. It was no problem at all because homosexuality wasn't a problem back then. However, later, when the culture changed and homosexuality became taboo, people came back to the laws of Leviticus 18 and changed them to fit the time. However, we can see the changes in the original Hebrew language, and it shows that this chapter of Leviticus was updated and edited to fit the new public opinion. In other words, if you have been using this part of the Bible to condemn people for being gay, you might want to think twice. The Bible originally condoned homosexuality. Mm -hmm.